friends. So today is your midweek devotional and we're going to be taking it again from one of my favorite books from the family devotional book. You know, God is so amazing that he knows the name of every person who is alive today or has ever lived or will live in the future. You know, names are important to God. Did you know that God told some parents what to name their kids before they were you know, that's how Ishmael, Isaac, Solomon, Josiah, John the Baptist, and Jesus got their names. You know, and God renamed some people too. You know, he changed Abram's name to Abraham. He gave Jacob the new name Israel. And God changed Saul's name to Paul. You know, when you read your Bible, you're going to discover stories where God spoke loud to people and called them by name. You know, Abraham, Jacob, Moses, and Samuel all heard God call their names. And they answered, here I am. You know, God knows your name too. He chose you to be his child. He didn't give your, you know, your name like he did some people in the Bible, but God knew what your parents would name you even before they did. You know, God knows everything. You wanna know something pretty cool? God knows your name too. He chose you to be his child. He didn't give you your name like he did some people in the Bible, but guess what? God knew what your parents would name you even before they did. God knows everything. You know, God calls on every grown-up and child to follow Him. He wants them to be His family, and He wants them all saved from that sneaky little thing called sin. You know, faith is a gift from God that He chooses to give us. But when we believe, we still also need to choose to follow God. You know, we follow God and become His children by believing in His Son, Jesus, and trusting that Jesus will take us to heaven someday. You know, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the only way to get there. And the Bible also says that it's written in a book in heaven. You know, you probably won't hear God speak your name out loud while you're here on earth, but you need to believe by faith that he knows who you are and wants more than anything for you to love and obey him. You know, someday God may choose you to do something great. And if he calls on you, then you're gonna be ready. Just like Abraham, Jacob, Moses, and Samuel, you'll be able to stand up and be ready to say, God, here I am. So before we end for today, what I want you to do is do some of these fun family activities together. The first one's a really cute little craft. Okay, using paper, crayons, and scissors, make some bookmarks for your Bible. Write on each bookmark, here I am, God, and decorate them with cool designs and pictures that just remind you always to look to God. You know, then there's our weekly challenge. You know, this week, make a little gift for each person in your family or someone like a friend. Something simple, like a picture you draw, a card you make, or a small little treat. And at the end of that week, send what you've done to that person you picked. Let them know that when you're giving them this gift, that you chose them. You know, God chose all of you to be his children and to offer you the gift of salvation, you know, to be saved from sin. Talk with your family about why is it important to follow God? What does it mean to live with him in heaven? And along with salvation, what are some other gifts God has given you? And then our memory verse. Try to memorize it. It's a little long, but I think it's so important. Brothers and sisters, we should always thank God for you. The Lord loves you. That's because God chose you as the first to be saved. Salvation comes through the Holy Spirit's work. He makes people holy. It also comes through believing the truth. 2 Thessalonians 2.13. Awesome, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's devotional. I know I did. I think it's so special to know that God chose me and God chose you, even before your parents even knew you, even before the world even started. God knew you, and I think that is so special. Pray for his guidance. Pray for him to lead you, and also pray that he uses you in some great way. I love you guys, and I can't wait for next week's devotional. Bye.